Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video, we've seen how to import data from Google Sheets using a web query. So we were actually adding a web query with VVA macros. In this video, we're going to see a different method. And this other method allows to import only certain rows or, or certain columns or certain cells. And why would we want to do that? Well, if you have a large data set in Google Sheets, imagine you have thousands or or hundreds of thousands of rows, maybe you don't want to import everything in Excel because it's going to take longer. And also, you, you will have a lot of data. You may need to do a cleanup later. So with this other method, we're going to just get what we need, right? So here, for example, I'm just getting the first 10 rows of data in this Google spreadsheet. So let's see how to do that from scratch. We go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module and a macro import specific data from Google Sheets. And this method consists of sending a HTTP request to the Google spreadsheet. We've seen how to send a HTTP request in previous videos. So if you don't know how to do that, go to the Excel Web Macros playlist in this channel. There are several videos there where we use a HTTP request to get data, to scrape data from the web, or to connect to an API, and so on. So for that, first we need to add the libraries to the references. And one is the Microsoft XML 6.0. And we also need to add the Microsoft HTML object library, because we're going to import the data as a HTML table. Then we declare some variables. So the HTTP request. And the HTML is going to be an object as well. We are also going to have a key for the spreadsheet ID or key and a URL as a string. And we will need row and column variables for, for the row and column index. So now we set the HTTP request create object. And here's going to be the msxml2.server. XML HTTP. And we will use this variable to send a HTTP server request. Then we're going to need our Google Spreadsheet ID. And that's here in the Google Spreadsheet in the, in the URL, starting from D slash and all the way along till the next forward slash. That's our spreadsheet ID or key. So I'm going to copy that and add it here. I'm going to call it key. And then we need the URL. The URL is not that URL. It's a modified URL that is going to show the spreadsheet as a HTML able. So let me copy that here. That's this one here. And the key. So as you see, it's spreadsheetsgoogle.com. TQ, and then it's going to output the spreadsheet as a HTML table. This URL, this modify URL along with our spreadsheet ID will look in the browser like this. So that's the same Google spreadsheet, but it's an HTML table. And that's, by the way, the same URL we used in the previous video to import it with a web query. Now with the HTTP request, we will open a server get request to that URL, and then we send the request to the server. So let me add here some comments. This is sending a HTTP server request. Now we're going to parse the response of that request to a HTML document. So let's put here, parse the response to a HTML document. And for that, we need first to set HTML, create object as an HTML file. And then we will say the body, so the inner HTML of the body, is going to be the HTTP request response text. So this is just a HTML table. So now we're going to loop through the HTML table with a for each loop and for each 
row in that table, I'm going to call that TR. TR stands for table row, and that's the same naming convention we use in HTML. In my HTML object variable, which is an HTML document, and actually it contains only a HTML table, get elements by tag name, and the tag name is TR, table row, in a HTML table, and we are going to have as many TR elements as table rows or as rows in this table. And then we're going to increment the variable r plus 1. So, And now for each table cell or column in that, in that row, so in HTML that's td, so I'm going to keep to, to that naming convention. In tr, in the table row, dot get elements by tag name. And now in this case, we're going to get the the table cells or the table columns, so td. And now we're going to increment c by 1, so this is going to indicate the column. Now we can say in cells r, c dot value, this is going to be td dot inner text. So this is going to be the value in that particular cell. Then next td, and, and when we move to the next row, we're going to set the variable c to 0, so it's going to start again in the next row from column 1, next tr. So this loop is going to get all the data in, in our spreadsheet. But now you can set conditions to import only what you need. For example, let's say you just want to import the first 10 rows, as, as in the example I showed earlier. Then you would say here, if r is less or equal to 10, then yes, then we're going to do all of this. Right? So we end the if here. And, and now this loop, with this simple condition, this loop is going to get only the first 10 rows. So now let's run it. And I've missed here an R. Let's run it and see what we get here. And as you see, we've got the first 10 rows of data. Now, in the same way, you can actually get specific columns or specific cells. Let's say, let me, let me remove this condition that we added. And let's say now you want to get only column A and B. Then you would add here, if column equals 1 or column equals 2, then yes, then we're going to add that. Um, so if we run now, if so if I delete everything and we run it again, you see we're going to get only column A and B, which doesn't make any sense in this case. It's just an example. But in the same way, if you want to get instead Let's say we just want to get the, um, the, the home team, the away team, and the, um, the final score, right? So this is column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. You would do something like this. If it's 6 or is 7 or is 10 or is 11, then we get it now. The problem with this is you're going to get you're going to get that in those uh, columns. So you need to so if we run it you see you get that data but you get only those columns. So you still need to so you still have to do some cleanup uh, here and there. So what you can do then is you can have a different target. You you can have different variables for that. So let's say you have C2 equals C2 plus 1, and then you, you put here C2, and then C2 equals 0 here. So yeah, you just need to play with that. Uh, you see now everything's together here. Need to change the format. Um, so yeah, you just need to play with that. You can even, you can even say, I only want to get um, the data where Malaga is playing, or where 
Levante is playing home, for example. So it's, we're going to get this one and this one and all the games were Levante. So for that, le let me remove all what we did for the columns, this one. Um, for, for that, you would set, you would add a condition before this loop, yeah, it would be here. And actually it would be a bit different, a bit more complicated, but you would basically say if tr get elements by tag name td here, and we're going to get the number 5, so the element number 5, which actually corresponds to the column number 6, and that's the column with the home team. Inner text equals Levante, that team. Then we're gonna we're gonna get all the data in that row with this um, other loop. We need to remove this, and we need to end the if statement here. And we also need to just have R and C. If we run now this uh, the macro with this other condition. As you see, we're going to get all the games where Levante was playing, but hey, we actually get it in the same position as they are in the, in the spreadsheet, right? And we don't want that. We want to have all of those together. Plus, we didn't get the header, so let's just add a small thing. So what we're going to do, we're just going to have here to put R equals 1, so this, this means it's going to get the first row with the headers or uh, our condition, so for this team. And then instead of R, again, we're going to have a different variable here. Let's say, let's call it R2. And every time this happens, R2 equals R2 plus 1, right? So now if I delete everything and we run it again, we're going to get the data just for just when that condition is met. So when that team uh, is the home team. So and and in the same way you can actually get um, any data you want. So this method allows you to set a condition to get the data you want from Google Sheets. So that's how we import specific data, specific uh, rows or columns or cells from Google Sheets using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.